first of all, I will introduce myself. My name is Frank Chen. I'm the business direct, uh, business development director of MightyNet. And um, I just know that this speech will be broadcasting to the whole world. Give me a lot of pressure, but anyway, feel the fear, do it anyway. That's my motto. Uh, Mighty, Mighty Electronics uh, is a 30 years old uh, EMS company located in Taiwan. And we have uh, two factories in Taiwan and two factories in China. So, uh, and this is our uh, innovation division located in Xinzhu Tsinghua University. And we hope that uh, we can provide a close service to our startup by our PM, PM and uh, our R&D center to service our, the Howard startup. Also, my office actually is located in the future world. So actually, Daniel is my landlord. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, I am a, a senior uh, project manager a few, about 10 years ago in the Shinju Science Park. Uh, my major product is uh, most from the communication product. So first of all, I would like to tell you one truth that most of the projects uh, from the crowdfunding, actually most of them are delayed, some of them are failed and uh, successful, successfully delivered on time, just only 7%. That reflects that our startup is hard, that's true. And uh, the recent, the last two days, the, I think maybe some of you heard that about some bad news about the Howard check. I'm not talking about the platform issue because I, I also running a government project about a matching platform for the Howard startup. But right now I'm back to do the real business. We believe that Howard startup is still the very bright future of this business. And uh, in the past two years, I've been taught, discussed the business with many, many Howard startup. And, uh, Basically, the entrepreneur always have very optimistic thinking, so just like a straight line, that I will develop my product very smoothly and I will go to market in three months. But the fact is, you will see everything happen, something happen, anything happen. So, so why do we think that we, so we do invite at any, every Howard style, you can try to find a right Taiwan partner because Taiwan manufacturer already been trained by those big branding companies for 30 years. We know how to serve them because we were tortured by them so many years. <laughs> so, uh, Taiwanese partner have the expertise and experience to support startup working on the innovation project. And the other thing is that intellect, intellectual properties also is valued and protected in Taiwan. That's what we're thinking that this is the most important core value to our customer. We can protect your product. And, uh, and the more important thing is that uh, manufacturing is not just buying the, the equipment and uh, put it into the material and uh, the product coming out. No. There's more important thing is the project managing service for each startup can help the startup, how is startup in the full development cycle. That's the very important things that PM as a service. And since I'm from MightyNet, that was, I will tell you that um, MightyNet can, what we can do for you. The first of all is manufacturing products from small volume to the mass production. And we have the high reliability in the manufacturing process to make the high quality products. Also, we can speed up the product, uh, we can speed, speed up the time to market. That's also very important, especially right now you are, you, you, you are going to uh, put your 
product on the crowdfunding and then you will know everybody see your product and uh, will do the similar things with you. And then your IP will be better protected and respected and uh, and then we also help Howard startup to go to the global market by our channels uh, consultant services. We hire some of senior uh, sales consultants to help you to to uh, help to sell your product to the different country and the channel. And here is some difficulty that if you are going to do the Howard innovation. Uh, before the product is shipped, more than 30 important decisions you need to be, you need to make. And uh, more than 400 tasks uh, uh, should be completed. That's the fact because I'm the PM before. And every single mistake you made may cause you one to two weeks delivery delay. So you can think that you can know why so many products cannot be delivered on time or failed. And we can do for you is we hope you can do, we can help you to build the first prototype engineering sample and then go to the develop process to mass production and then go to the product market. So if you are the hardware startup, I wish I expect you should remember these terms EVT, DVT, PVT, mass production, marketing because that would be very helpful when you communicate with your Howard developed partner. EVT calls engineering verification test. That's the very first things that you need to do some efforts, you need to spend some efforts to use some a minimum production low budget profit service tailored for you and to verify your, uh, verify your product concept and the function. And then it, the, uh, the key is to think about is this product is really uh, considering every design possibility to fit the product market fit. That's very important. Because hardware is totally different from the software. Software you may easily to change to and pivot to the right market. but for however, the money you already threw into the water, you cannot get it back. So please be careful. And DVT is called design verification test and use uh, easy way 3D printing to make a prototype and and uh, also we offer a free debug service to, uh, to identify design and the manufacturing pro problem in the process. And no matter in the safety certification, circuit design, man uh, mechanical design, and we can help you to ensure the quality to the market. And then purity, this is the very important phase before you put your product into the production line because you need to know that your product is manufacturable. So we offer industrial lowest the 20 pieces quantity, this is the MOQ for pilot run, to test your production process. And uh, with some uh, international st quality standard and uh, manufacturer standard uh, procedure, to do the small quantity trial to test the, the process. And then uh, now you can see your product, your product will go to mass production. And we have more than 30 years uh, manufacturing service, uh, experience and a full production base, base in China and Taiwan. And we can serve it, it's by customer's request if you need to uh, different location of the manufacturing services. And uh, taking care of the product manufacturing in every stage, that's what I call our PM service, allow, to you, allow you to use a reasonable cost and on scheduled delivery to gain the customer trust. And then marketing, that we also have some senior sales uh, consultant to help you for different country and the channel to sell your product. So what we want to do, 
is to magnify maker and the startups success from one to 100. We also help quite a lot of makers in Taiwan. We hope and we leverage our partners resources to help them to go to the market. And we also team up with some accelerator hardware ecosystem and the investor to help them to go through all the way to market and get the right funding for you. And this is our, uh, right now our product strategy. By our smart solution, we focus on these four product segments. Smart life, smart medical, smart logistic, and a smart factory. I'm not saying that we can do everything because no one can do everything. But we do have our focus to help the, this four segment startup to do their, do their business well. And this is from our, that, that, the Howard startup uh, growth chain that we alliance with our partners could to do the right business and uh, go to the global market. This is, uh, um, and we also we already have many many Howard startup customers from global, uh, from all all over the world, from North America, Europe, and uh, Asia. But not only for Howard Startup, we also we are we are also a 30 years old EMS service. So this big customer also we always serve them very well to keep the business going smooth. And this is our uh, the major revenue comes from uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. Thank you. That's my let's conclude my presentation here. You are welcome to ask uh, Frank any questions if you have. Uh, for current startups, uh, if they would like to make succeed, uh, what kind of uh, skills they need to have or characters they need to have? Skill, I mean, I can only tell you about Howard startup. Because, uh, first of all, to admit, you, don't, you, you know nothing about Howard. So find a right partner for you because you should focus on your core, core technology, core business to do the right thing for your business and uh, let your hire partner to do, to develop your product. What you need to do is to maintain a very good communication with your partner to make sure your product can deliver it. That's my suggestion. Okay, thank you. So I also have a question for you, Frank. I think uh, for you, what is the most benefit moment when you think uh, you can bring to hardware startups? Uh, uh, could you uh, pardon? Yes, I said uh, um, for you, uh, during your past uh, experience, what do you think is the most benefit moment for you? Can you describe that moment for us? You know, for uh, share with the new hardware startups. The most rewarding moment. <laughs> to be honest, I am not a guy on the screen. I'm a businessman. So what I want to do or what I want to see is to, is to help you to do the business well. So if you can place a million order, that's my moment. <laughs> so guys, take note. <laughs> OK, thank you, Frank. Okay. Oh, oh, by the way, uh, sorry. Thank you, Fran, for the presentation. So I just have a question that um, is uh, MyDNet is a, is a manufacturing factory, but is it acting like a VC right now for startups, the position that you will invest in the initial stage and develop the product and eventually do the marketing for them to the to the world? I think we are not a, a VC. But 
to be honest. Uh, right now, I'm a business development director, so I should not say we could invest oh. on a startup. But, but we do think about use a, a beneficial way to help the startup to do their business in a good way. So we may have some, um, we may have some cooperation relationship with the hardware startup to do the business. Because back to your hardware startup funnel slide, I could see innovation investment in the first stage. Uh, less from our partner because oh, right okay. now our innovation division is located in Xinzhou and uh, there's uh, another uh, accelerator called StarFab. Actually, that's my past. Mm -hmm. And they do have some investor relationship. Also, they do some, they have some, pro they have the program to help the startup grow. And uh, we are a very close partnership to help the startup. So mm -hmm. when we have find out a, a diamond, we need to polish it. Mm -hmm. So we, we will co-incubate this, co-incubate the team to grow. That's Is what it we can possible do. to disclose the partner's information in the public? Or like which organization? A StartFab actually is a, it's a private company, so mm -hmm. you can you can oh, okay. you can Google StarFab. It's a, I think it's a, what I think is it's the best accelerator in Taiwan. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any past example that you could share with us? For for the like like that you got being through partnership and then you develop it and then you uh, push it to the world. Like a successful case, that's what I meant. Uh, I think I should not tell them these things at this moment because I'm not in charge of their things. But uh, you can check the staff app and most of the hardware startup in StarFab is co-incubated by StarFab and uh, uh, Mighty, Mighty Nate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.